Hi, and welcome to episode number seven of Unravel the Myth. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I mean, you hear a lot of talk about being woke these days and how it's an insult against us liberals because they got to find a new word. I guess libtard doesn't go anywhere anymore. So woke is a bad term. I recently heard someone say to me, or somewhere online, oh, why don't you just go back to sleep? I love that because, you know, what it, does it say about them? Yeah, that they're still asleep and that they like being in the dark. And, and I guess a lot of people do, maybe. But what woke means, do you, have you ever thought about this? It's a politically correct alternative. Yeah, what happened to politically correct? I mean, we've all heard politically correct. It's people who want to get rid of the John Wayne Western and turn Indians into good people, heaven forbid. Well, guess what? They were. All people are good. All people are bad. But the problem with our history in the United States is that we like our stereotypes because it makes us feel safe. That's what being woke is. We don't think in stereotype anymore. We don't lump everybody into a category. You know? So what we think about when we think about woke is we think about that this country needs to do, oh my God, geez Louise, I'm not kidding you. We need a federally, we need a federal standard for teaching history in this country. Every single state has its own standards and so they teach different histories and so how can we agree? We don't, we don't learn the same things. Civil War was good, in Civil War the Union was good and the South was bad, or the South was good and the Union, Union was bad. They were both good and they were both bad. Democrats, Republicans, both good, both bad. Yeah, Democrats were the ones to enslave the blacks, but so did some Republicans. Did you know that Jefferson, it, when the Constitution was being drawn up, wanted to end slavery? but he couldn't get a lot of inroad there at the time. Um, Jefferson started the Democratic Republicans because he thought Washington was veering too much back toward England's theocracy. Yeah, it, it, these are lots of things about our history people don't know. And that's what being woke is. It's because we're finding out that there's no stereotype. We're finding out the people, all people. And that's what's in the Constitution, even though they were racist back then, they didn't know what all people meant. We do today. It means all people deserve the right to liberty, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness. No matter what their sex is, no matter what, what sex they want to be, no matter what color they are, no matter what religion they are. Being woke means you know that this country was founded on the basis of religious freedom. You don't push your religion on anyone else. Being woke means you don't interfere in your neighbor. You might be annoyed by the world, but who says that the world doesn't have the right to annoy you once in a while, you know? I mean, it's like, okay, once in a while, I mean, something happens I don't like, but it didn't affect me, it didn't affect me. You know, is a trans woman going to come after me with a butcher knife? Then I might get a little, you know, perturbed. But I won't say that all trans people are going to come after me with a butcher knife just because one did. You see how that works? Woke is not a threat to anyone, even people in Florida. Even though they think it is. Even though they just want to be white there. Florida was never white before DeSantis came along. What the heck's going on? I mean, you people voted him in. You gotta claim that. I mean, yeah, I'm holding you guys up as the biggest anti-wokeness there is. So please, understand woke and politically correct means that we understand what happened in our country and it wasn't stereotypical bad Indian, good white. It wasn't cowboys versus Indians. It wasn't, it wasn't um, blacks are too stupid to do anything but work in the cotton fields. That isn't right. You know it isn't right. So yeah, 
That's what I want to say. Woke up, people.